Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today is yet another lovely, lovely pen. Now, a lot of you people will recognise this particular pen. It doesn't need uh, too much introduction. Um, what we've got here is the Parker 51 Aerometric Fountain Pen from Circa around about the 1950s. Now, um, I've shown you lots of videos on the Parker 51s, I've even done some uh, how to restore them etc. Um, the only reason I'm showing you this one, this one came to me in quite a sorry state. I've totally, well I've totally disassembled it, it came with some deep scratches, um, we had to replace the nib. So basically I just thought I'd show you it's come out absolutely gorgeous and it's a lovely pen and in my opinion worthy for um, worthy for well a little video so as we say we've got a Parker 51 from circa around 1950s I don't know how clear it is but what we've got it's in burgundy and it comes with this what Parker called a luster alloy cap and to the top there we've got this grey green jewel to the top and as always the very recognizable Parker um, arrow clip to the top of the uh, top of the cap like so um, to the bottom hopefully you can see there it's got the word Parker to the bottom of the cap and all in all as I say a lovely lovely pen so let's take the cap off which is uh, a simple push on push off cap let's give you some uh, different little angles to show you the pen <laughs> I'm going to try and keep this short but you know what I'm like I'll keep nattering but let's put the cap down let's take you to the top of the well let's take it to the top of the um, the barrel first of all and if I can find it um, I'm hoping you can actually see to the top there we've got um, well just to the left we've got Parker again I don't know how clear that is for you and if we turn it round, it's got made made in England. So we've got an English made Parker. Just to the top there, you can see the very recognisable Parker clutch ring there. Um, you can see it's got this hood to the top there. And to the very top, we've got the, the nib just protruding from the top of the hood there. If we turn it round for you there, you can see it's got this sort of hooded nib and you got the feed underneath there and as you can see that is also very nice it's actually been totally disassembled all everything inside has been cleaned and the pen's been polished and as I say all in all in superb condition let's unscrew the barrel and this is um, for you people that don't know this is what we term as the aerometric type filler um, it's got the instructions to the you know this outer case in there and it says to fill the pen and um, press four times etc so you got the instructions there this is the bar that we press and I'm not even too sure if you can see this particular one's got a lovely clear sack on it although it doesn't seem very very clear on the video and to the top of these aerometric fillers we've got this little black black stud to the top now Obviously since I've restored it, what we'll do, let's, uh, good time as any to test the pen. And again, I've told you numerous times, we dip the nib in the ink and we press numerous times on this bar here. Again, I'll be quiet and hopefully you can hear the sort of bubbling, bubbling noise. Okay, I'm hoping you could hear that. We have like a, it's like a gushing, a gushing noise, which means that everything's working or should be working correctly. Let's put the uh, the barrel back on and let's see how the pen writes. So what we've got, as we said, is a Parker. This is the 51 Aero aerometric we're dating the pen around about the 1950s although saying that this particular one um, the nib on it is actually a Parker and then underneath it says made 
in made in England and then to the right of the nib it has the letter BR and then to the right on the bottom of the nib it's got 1953 so although we're dating the pen around about the 1950s the nib is telling us it's 1953 as with these particular pens um, I've not actually yet seen a Parker 51 with well with a flexible nib they're actually quite a hard nib but nice nibs to actually write with and this particular one as you can see is writing with a lovely fine a lovely fine line so in full working order let's pop the cap back on which again just simply slides on like so so there we have it i'm going to keep it very brief we've got a parker 51 aerometric from right round about the 1950s um, again size wise 136 caps 12 millimeters um, the barrel diameter all in all lovely pen I hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget leave a comment but for now I'll say ta now